Well, hello, ladies, and welcome to today's uh, Coach Call, our first team call. Um, I am so excited about this call. There is so many amazing things that are going to be happening, um, not only in the beach body world itself, but in your business. Um, as you know, Summit is this week, and I will be attending, and it is my first time ever going. Um, I've been a coach for a year, and I signed up right uh right before summit last year and had had no clue what it was or, or what it could have done for my business if I had attended. So I will be there this year. Um, so there's that. There's summit. But then there's also the launch of Pio. Um, and we're going to talk more about that later in this um, video about what Pio really can do for you um, personally with your own strength, um, but also with your business. Uh, but first off, I wanted to congratulate you both on your first month of coaching. You have both now officially been coaching for over a month, and you have done amazing. Amber has uh, achieved success club starters um, and received a, a phone call with Carl tomorrow evening. And Sonia has signed up her first uh, personally sponsored coach all in your first month. I need you both to know just how amazing that is. That is such a great accomplishment in such a short amount of time. So if you ever feel like maybe, gosh, you're not doing something right, please take that thought out of your mind. You are doing everything right and then some. You have achieved so much in your first month. Um, so on that note, um, I think it's time to go ahead and switch over to the questions that Amber had posted in um, our coaches group. Um, and the first one was about signing up new coaches under us and getting their interest and following through with the logistics in the online office. Um, first off, um, one thing that it took me too long to realize was that, yes, we are looking for coaches and we're looking to build our team, but those people need to understand that it is a privilege that we are asking them to join our team. That means that we have seen something in them that has stood out, something that tells us they are going to be a great leader and a great motivator for other people as well. Um, those are the kind of people that are posting in your group regularly. Um, most of the time, it's people who have... Uh, started drinking Shakeology and have done a workout program of beach bodies. It's not necessary though, but in general, that's kind of how we find them. Um, we find them in challenge groups, um, just people that have really taken their fitness and their health and wanting to help others to the next level. Um, so look for those people and make sure that you have the mindset that it is a privilege for them to join you. You don't want to come across as desperate or like, oh gosh, I need that person to join. I need that person to join because that's not it. You see something in them and it may take them a little while to see that, see it in, in themselves and that's okay. Plant the seed. Um, it's, it's good probably to create a script. And I know that sounds bad, but I've created a lot of scripts and I've gotten scripts from um, Alita, uh, my good friend. Um, and those are scripts that we send to coach prospects, customers, you know, whoever it may be. Um, and I have one that, well, I actually sent to you guys um, that I got from Alita. I kind of tweaked it a little bit uh, to be my own, um, in my own words. I can send that to you guys and you can also kind of tweak it to your, to your liking to sound like you. Um, but that's the first step. And generally it starts off with, hey, so-and-so, I'm so impressed at how well you've done in the 21-day fix. And in the challenge group, you've shown a great interest in leading others and motivating others. Um, and then you just kind of go on and say, I think you would make a great coach on my team. And I would be, you know, and you just kind of keep going. Um, so that's the first step. You send that to them, and then you wait for the response. If they say, hey, yeah, that, that sounds like something I'd be interested in doing, it's like, well, great. Well, here's a short video to watch. Um, this is by Lindsay Matway. She's our top coach in Beachbody, and this is um, a great way to just kind of look at the five, you know, five things that coaches need to know before or people need to know before they sign up as a coach. Packed full of information. Go ahead and take a look at it. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. Um, once they watch that, they say, oh, my gosh, this is – this is me, this is perfect, this is exactly what I want to do, then that's when you send them the link to sign up as a coach under you. And I can make sure that I, I know Sonia knows that link, but I can make sure, Amber, that you have um, that link as well. It's in on coaching codes, it's on your online office, it's, it's a couple different places. Um, 
But as they are going through the sign up process, make sure you tell them a couple things. The first one is that as when they sign up for a coach, that's their last chance to purchase a challenge pack. So let's say that they're one of your customers and they get their Shakeology Home Direct on the 15th of every month and you're talking to them on the 10th. What you could say is, hey, use this as an opportunity to purchase your last challenge pack, get an awesome deal, get the sign up fee waived. When they do that, they can then call and cancel their previous order of Shakeology that would have shipped on the 15th. That way they're not getting charged for two in one month. Or if it doesn't really seem like that's a big deal, have them, um, when they purchase their challenge pack, when they sign up as a coach, have them get a box of the packets that they can give out as samples. Excellent way to have extra Shakeology in hand or for them to take with them when they travel. Either way, they have that option. Also, there's that showcase challenge pack. And I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is absolutely amazing. Um, I really wish it would have been available a month ago when you guys signed up because I think it just gives coaches so much um, such diversity in the programs and the um, information available. Um, and they get they save so much money. When they um, when they purchase that showcase challenge pack, um, another thing they need to make sure they understand is that it, they need to be on Shakeology Home Direct. So they do need to be aware that they will have that financial commitment, as well as their business fees, uh, the seventeen dollar business fee, and the um, quarterly Beachbody Club membership, which is I think like thirty every quarter. Um, so they need to be aware of those financial commitments. However, Make sure that you tell them that it's because um, when they are active coaches, that's when they will receive free customers from Beachbody, and that's how they'll advance and rank and get their own costs covered. Make sure you're always positive about it um, because it is a very positive thing. They have taken a step in the right direction into a life that's going to be fulfilling. Um, not, I mean, it'll be a challenge from time to time, but they'll be helping others the way you help them. Um, so very, very positive. Um, also, I sent you guys the information, too, on signing up a new coach this week. Um, you could be entered into a drawing for a free PIA workout. So if you have somebody that's on the fence, I know I have a couple myself, um, talk to them. Reach out again. Um, I know for me, I've reached out to a couple people, um, and I need to follow up with them. And the follow-up can be hard. You have to find, you know, the right words to say. And, and um, sometimes it's as simple as, hey, how's it going? And a conversation will start. So try not to overthink it too. Um, but that's that's kind of the overview of, of signing up new coaches. Um, once you sign up a new coach, so this goes for you too, Sonia, you can add them to our coaches group. Get them in contact with me. Um, I have absolutely no problem helping you coach your new coaches. That's what I'm here for. I'm help, I'm here to help you. Um, so if your coach asks, asks you a question you don't know, ask me. I'll help them. Um, and I'm going to start, um, probably when I get back from summit, I want to start building up our, our team, uh, our, uh, private Facebook group, our coaches group, um, and start posting more helpful hints, more, more links, and just more in general for you guys as, um, as far as resources go. Um, the link for Lindsay Matway's video, I mean, so many things. Um, so that will be coming in the near future. So, uh, just be on the lookout for that. Um, also, don't hesitate ever to go to Team Motivate uh, Coaching. Uh, the The password is Yes I Can. Um, and Chris Palmer has so many helpful videos. Um, you can also YouTube Lindsay Matway. I'm sure she has lots of lots of great videos on that new signing up coach uh, coaches uh, process. Um, the next part of signing up coaches and another. Uh, place where you'll find a good video on Team Motivate is um, balancing your legs. And this was so confusing to me at first. I will do my best to explain it to you, but Chris Balmert's video will help. And even the Coach Online office has information on it. As a coach, you have two legs. You have a left leg and a right leg. Um, and one leg is your strong leg and one leg is your weak leg. So for you two, um, your strong leg is your right leg. That's the leg where as I sign up new personally sponsored coaches of my own and I place them in my downline, they will be on, on your outer leg, on your right leg. They will contribute to your commissions and your team bonuses, but they do not count towards your rank. So like Sonia, you'll see Amber 
on your right leg. And that's why I told you to put your personally sponsored coach on your left leg so that you were balanced. To be an Emerald coach, you still need to sign up one more personally sponsored coach on your right leg. When you do that, that coach will show up under Amber. And that will make a whole lot more sense once you watch Chris Ballmer's video. He actually draws it all out for you. But to be an Emerald coach, you need to have a personally sponsored coach on your left leg and on your right leg. And then as they start growing their business and, and um, signing up new coaches, um, then you start getting what's called a team cycle bonus. And so for you guys, you will have, um, you'll need to have 200 uh, points on your left leg and 100 on your right leg and to get what's called a cycle. So every time you have 200 personal volume points or your coaches do on, your, on their left leg, and 100 on your right leg, you get a cycle bonus, and that's $14. And then as you advance in rank, that increases. Um, so making sure that your legs are balanced is very, very important. Um, and so, and I know it might be confusing about how I place them. Just, just watch the video, and it'll make it'll make sense. Um, and reaching Emerald is, like I said, just so huge for your business. Um, you'll get free cu uh, customers. And, um, and just really start to see your business boom. Um, also getting the cost of your Shakeology covered, another huge one in that. That can be just um, by having three customers sign up, as we talked about. So um, so that's, that's the overview of, of signing up coaches. I know that um, you might have more questions, and that's what we'll, we'll definitely chat about later. Um, question number two, how to keep fitness groups active and growing. Um, this is always going to be um, an ebb and flow. There's going to be times where your group is just hopping, full of excitement, um, posting like crazy. You you get notifications left and right of people posting your group. Then there's going to be times where it seems like everybody is on vacation. Um, I can almost 100% guarantee you that reflects your participation in the group. If you are excited and you're posting daily and you're posting your workouts and, and maybe your Shakeology or your, your lunches, your dinners, um, a trip you took with your family, with your kids, um, you went on a bike ride with friends as a weekend activity, the more you do things like that, the more in tune with you your group is going to be. Another thing I can also tell you is I have personally watched other coaches' groups grow at an insane rate once they started posting videos like this one, one that is very outside my comfort zone. It is not something that is at all easy for me, but I'm, I'm working on it and I encourage you to do the same. Um, but just post regularly, ask questions. Um, the one question that, um, Lori Andreessen posted in my group about the true or false, and then you have to ask somebody else a question and it's to get to know them. That has been the most popular post in my group in a year that has the most comments on it out of any other post I have ever posted. So do that. Copy her words exactly if you have to and go into your group and post it. Um, but you set the tone for your group. I have been insanely busy and quite honestly distracted and I have not posted in my group nearly as much as I want to. That will change, but I can tell you I've seen a direct reflection of that. My group seems a little dead. The direction of it was kind of starting to go away. I didn't want it to go. And it is my job to reel it in, refocus them, you know, refocus where I want um, the, the course of the group to go, where I want it to be. I have 150 members. Honestly, I want double that. That's not enough to me. Um, the more people you add, the greater the chance you have of better conversations, more posts, more activity. Um, and that kind of takes us, I guess, a little bit into question number three, and that is how often should we be posting in our groups and on your personal Facebook wall? Well, that really depends on you. Um, you don't want to be that person that posts so much people start ignoring you. Um, I would say in general, two to three times a day, um, and each social media is great because remember the people that are in your private group are your friends. So anything you post on your personal wall, they will also see. Um, so try to keep it different, you know, try not to post the same thing. Um, a lot of times I'll just even switch the wording or switch a picture to make it a little different. So it's not 
that they're getting the exact same thing. Um, but I would say try to post in your private group at least twice a day, morning and night or day and night, whatever you want to call it, um, at least twice. On your Facebook wall, um, I think that there should always be a balance. Um, so if you have a family or there's whatever it is that's kind of your niche, post at least once on that. And then once kind of a general fitness or health or exercise tip or question. Always try to ask a question. Um, one thing to remember is that Facebook has settings that drive me nuts. If you post a picture with your post, chances are only maybe a quarter of your friends is going to see that um, for whatever reason. So try to keep your the posts on your wall um, questions like I do. Like I think I sent you guys the link where it's just like questions of the day. Like what's your favorite breakfast? What's your favorite sandwich? What was your favorite memory from high school? Just to get people interacting with you because when they like or comment on your post, that is when they are going to start seeing all of your other posts. If they don't comment or like, you stop appearing in their news feed. So try to keep that in mind. Um, it's honestly, in my opinion, kind of a shitty deal and it drives me nuts. It's like I have over 500 friends. I want all 500 of my friends to be seeing my posts, but that's just not the case. Um, so that's how often I would post. Um, Instagram is hard for me to post twice. I have not found... Um, and I haven't found my niche really in, in that yet, um, but as I get my Riley Fitness um, website and like page going on Facebook, there will be a better balance. There will be, um, you know, posts about new blog posts, a, a new recipe, um, pictures with me and my kids. I'm going to start finding more ways to um, make myself um, appear to more people. More people see, see what I have to offer. Um... Okay, so now that I've touched on some of those questions, I hope I answered them. Please let me know if I didn't. Um, my next thing that I want to talk with you guys about is really important, and that is goal setting and personal development. Um, I can tell you that I, I I never really set goals before before I started coaching. Um, I didn't really, I never really saw the point. Um, didn't even really get what it was all about. Um, or if I did set goals, I was like, hey, I want to pay this bill off before Christmas or, hey, I want to save money for Christmas. I mean, those were goals, I guess, that I had. Um, but I want you to take that example and take it to the next level. Um, after watching this video, I want you both to sit down, and I know, Sonia, you, you might have done it with a 30-day uh, push, but I want you to sit down and I want you to write out, hand write out your top 10 goals for the rest of this year. What do you hope to accomplish? Do you want to reach Emerald? Well, if you want to reach Emerald, why not? Why not Diamond? Push yourself. It is achievable. Don't for a second let yourself think that it's not because once you let those negative thoughts in, they take over. Um, or if you want to, you know, you want the income from your beach body business to help you save for a trip or pay off a bill or or whatever it may be set yourself goals and it could be personal fitness goals too or you know whatever but i want you to list your top 10 then i want you to post them in the group in our in our coaches group um that is so important imagine too cuz the 30 day push recommends it um write the write your goals every week the same day the same place in your house at the same time um write your top 10 without looking at last week's. It may change and that's okay. But if you're constantly aware of your goals and where you want to be in the next six months to a year, you're going to notice such a huge change in every aspect of your life. Um, and I think I sent the link to you both, but Amber, let me know. The 30 day push by Shalene Johnson is life changing. I did it in January and I officially in my mind feel like I had a business on February 1st. Uh, the six months prior to that, I had a hobby. I had I had a Facebook group that I enjoyed and I motivated people, but I did not have a business. I I did not have it until I figured out what I needed to do to be successful, and that was February 1st when that happened for me. Um, so I really encourage you to take part in that. Um, it really is easy to uh, do each day. Some of the the assignments, I guess you could call them, are maybe five, ten minutes. Um, she has videos that you watch, and then there's a little piece of paper that you fill out, maybe for some of them, and that, and that's it. But it's life changing. It is absolutely life changing, um, especially with 
the launch of Pio, um, which is my next topic. Um, oh, actually, no, I take that back. Personal development. Personal development can be anything like listening to the wake up call, which I hope you both have done by this point or before we chat um, at seven. Um, anything that you can read or watch or listen to that improves your life, that gives you positive things to look forward to, um, gives you tips on how to make your life better, that's personal development. Um, I absolutely love the book, The Secret, and I'm almost done with the book, The Power. Um, I have also read The Slight Edge. Um, there's Grow Pro. Um, and then there's the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Those are the kind of books that you want to be reading, even if it's just 10 minutes a day, because that will set the tone for your life. That'll set the tone for your way of thinking. Um, if you think that you're going to have a hard week, you will. You're going to have a bad day, you will. Um, you have too many bills, or you're going to get more bills in the mail, you will. But if you start changing your way of thinking and say, you know what, this is going to be an awesome day, it's going to be an absolutely freaking fantastic day, you're going to have a great day. If you believe in your mind without any doubt that you're going to have a great day, you will, just like your business. If you believe without a doubt that you're going to be diamond by the end of the year, you will be a diamond. And being a diamond is, I mean, that is. That is our goal here as coaches as you know, to start off as an active rank and then be a diamond coach. You get so many more benefits as a diamond coach. You're, you've shown that you've grown your team. You have coaches under you that you're mentoring. You have moved to that next step and that is amazing. So make sure that you take a point every day to do some personal development. Maybe write down a list. I actually have a list on my phone of uh, things I love. Because I can guarantee you, if you focus on a feeling of love, there's not going to be any way for anything negative to come into your life. So if I'm having a tough time, I'm feeling maybe a little negative, I'm frustrated, I'm discouraged, I open up that list and I look at everything I love. It has my kids, my house, my family, my health, my ability to work out, my group. I mean, it has everything listed and it reminds me how blessed I am. And when you focus on that, you'll just have more and more things to love and that will be blessing your life. So that's my little soapbox of um, positivity and personal development. I believe in it. You should believe in it. You should do it. Um, Pio. Pio is going to be... Uh, I don't even have the words. Um, amazing. I mean, it is just going to be incredible. Um, not only as a program, because I've been personally doing it. Um, but for your business. Um, focus on... All of the great things about Pio. Research it. Watch the video. Watch, um, there's so many YouTube videos of people doing the Pio workouts live, like what I want to do also. Um, watch them. Learn. Study. I mean, with anything in your life that you've ever wanted, you've had to do some studying and you've had to do some research. Do the same with Pio. And then share what you learn with your friends, with the people in your group. Create that event if you haven't already. Um, in my event, um, I invited, I think, almost my entire friends list, except for I tried, I think I might have gotten one of one or two of uh, Amber's nice mutual friends, which was not on purpose. Um, but in, invite your entire friends list. Don't leave anybody out. Post quotes, facts, pictures, videos, the, the Beachbody Pio uh, launch video, everything. Post at least once a day in that event because it'll show up in people's notifications and it will remind them that Pio is coming. Um, hold on just a second. Um, I plan to do a countdown to the release of Pio five days before. So yes, right when I'm in the middle of summit, I plan to start doing a countdown to Pio and that's going to be tough, but I'm going to do it. Um, it's just going to be so huge for your business. I know for myself, I um, it's going to get me to Success Club this month. Um, it is going to help me reach some financial goals um, and Success Club point goals of my own. Um, and then we have the Team Beach Body Cup coming next month. And I know Amber, you saw that uh, post um, in the Team Motivate Coaches Group. 
And what the team uh, Beach Body Cup is, is we create teams. We literally create teams of coaches. So it would be the three of us, if you all want to participate. Um, and then we can find two other coaches, maybe from Alita's team, maybe Alita if she doesn't have a team. Um, and we're a team of five coaches. We can create our own group. We come up with a name. Our goal for 30 days, so from July 1st to July 31st, um, is to get as many success club points as we possibly can. It's literally a competition. It is, you know, a little outside of, you know, oh, I don't want to sell, but it, it's for good reason. It's because it is a brand new program launching. And as long as you're sharing and still sharing the research you found, you won't really even have to sell. You're just doing what you're normally doing. Um, so we create these teams and we earn as many success club points as we can. We get prizes for each tier. There's levels of, um, you know, if you achieve 25 success club points, you know, you get this and then 50, it's this. And then like the top, I'm going to say like the top three teams, I think you may get a trip out to LA to meet Carl and it is a big deal. They, they reward us coaches for our success. Um, endlessly. It's amazing. Um, but it's just great. It's great to build relationships and, um, and meet other coaches and, uh, yeah, it's just great. Um, another thing that I wanted to touch on, um, before we end the call, I'm already at 26 minutes here. Um, super Saturday. I personally have never attended a super Saturday event and I should kick myself. Um, there is one that is so close to Amber and I, Amber, I think we really need to get together and try to make it. I'll, I'll hire a babysitter if I have to. Um, and same with you, Sonia, look it up. I think there's, I want to say there's a link somewhere on the Beachbody site where you can look for a Super Saturday event. So locate them. Find one that's close to you. It's the Saturday after Summit. So I want to say that is the 28th. Of, yeah, the 28th of June. Um, and what it is is I think it depends on each Super Saturday event. But basically there's usually like a workout. Um, they talk about new, new things happening. Um gain a lot of enthusiasm. So especially since you guys can't be at Summit, I encourage you, please, please, please attend a Super Saturday event. Also, let me get the link here. Um, they are going to do a live stream on this Thursday of the grand, um, the general open session. So the very first official day of Summit, um, they are going to stream what I'll be at live um, at 4 p.m. So 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, all you do is go to www.youtube.com, uh, slash beach body video. And the, and if you were on, if you listen to the, um, the wake up call, they gave that, uh, link on, um, on that call, um, be there, try to get on it. I know it might be tough. That's kind of a tough time, but please, please, please do your best to at least view, you know, log in for some of it. Um, and then I'm going to end again. You might this might be a duplicate if you listen to the the wake up call. But here's some tips that um, they gave on the wake up call for those coaches who are not attending summit. Number one, do what other successful coaches do. So if you see other coaches posting about Pio, find a way that it it reflects on you that sounds like you. Post about it. Share it. Um, if you see other coaches talking about summit. Talk about it. Talk about how your friends are there. Talk about how I am there. Say, coaches are gaining so much knowledge. I mean, we're going to workshops. I, I'm not entirely sure I'm ever going to have time to sit by the pool, quite honestly. But um, we're gaining so much knowledge. We're meeting super, you know, celebrity trainers at super workouts. I mean, it's going to be amazing. Um, the second thing I want you to do is commit to being at Summit 2015 no matter what it takes. They gave us a sneak peek on the call saying that next year they're moving the location. I have no idea where they possibly could move it, but it won't be in Vegas from what I understand. But take a look at what it would have cost for you to attend this year and figure out your finances. Say, okay, for every, for one challenge pack or two challenge packs that I sell a month, I'm going to set that commission aside so that I can go to Summit next year. You need to commit because I can guarantee you I haven't even been there yet and I already feel different just already preparing for it and knowing that I'm going to be a part of a group of 9,000 coaches. There's going to be 9,000 coaches at the MGM 
working together, going to these workshops, just acknowledging other successes. And it's just the fever, the, the feeling I'm going to get is amazing. Like seriously, it gives me goosebumps even just thinking about it. Um, Stay plugged into your social media. If you don't follow some of the top coaches like Lindsay Matway and Chris Balmert, and I mean some of these people, start following them on Facebook um, and watch what they're posting and share it. You're not stealing it. Just share it. Share whatever their excitement is, is your excitement because it is going to be affecting your business. Um, and then, like I said, create your own buzz. Talk about your friends. Talk about me being at Summit and talk about how you are committing to Summit 2015. And just be positive. Don't don't let this week when we're away um, be a low week in your business. Make it your highest week this month. Find any way you can to be excited. Um, and I can guarantee you, your excitement will be contagious. And your friends and your family and all the people in your group are going to feel it. And they're going to want to join you. So with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a video call it a day and uh, we will chat at seven uh, to answer any questions that you have um, and I'll talk to you guys then. Have a great night.